Oh, we got him! Y'all hear that nasty storm rolling in? That's what we're trying to avoid this morning. We're putting in here at the beach, guys. Gonna try around these docks just for a little while before the storm system moves in. Then we'll get a game plan for later on this afternoon. Uh, Y'all wish us luck. Guys, he hit this thing right at the boat. I didn't have the camera going. Pretty sure it's a nice red. I don't know. I just saw the flash of him. Yeah. Yeah, it is. These pogies are starting to move in. So I pedaled up to them. And I've got a little mullet imitation twitch bait on. And that seemed to do the trick. He hit right here at the boat. I don't know how well he's hooked. But he's a big one! <laughs> Come on! So I'm not going to horse him. I'm just going to let him wear himself out. I don't think he's hooked very well. But to watch him come up right next to the boat and swirl on it was crazy. Come here, dude. All right. Y'all, we are getting into that time of year where these bull reds are starting to run the beaches. Start showing up in big numbers. And that's a big one. Come on. Oh my gosh. On that tiny little mullet imitation. That thing is a beast. Holy crap. I don't know if I'm going to be able to net him. He ain't fighting like he's that big, but yeah, he is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yo. Yeah, we tested fate coming out with that big old nasty storm, but it has pushed offshore like we were hoping it would. And now it's paying off. Come on, get that head up. Mm. Nope. Come on. <laughs> That's a red. That's a red. Yep. Big old bull red. Come on. Stay out of dad's kayak. <laughs> There he goes. He's starting to, he's starting to wear out. Come on. Oh, you're good. You're good. You might be able to get him in the net. Dude, you're soaking me. And I just dropped my net. Come on. Yeah. I did that last time and the hook pulled. In the net last time i tried to net one but i actually got him in Woo! hook came right out see if i can get this hook out the net first check it out guys on this tiny little mullet imitation twitch bait from miradine oh my goodness oh. that right there it's a big old bull red. <laughs> Y'all check that fish out. That thing is a beast. Oh, he's in there chasing those pogies. Paddled up to him through that lure. And he smoked it right at the boat. Let's let this thing go. Oh. All right, guys, this is on a big old hand-sized pogie. We had some bigger pogies move in. I decided to cast net for some and uh, threw one on underneath a popping cork and this dude just exploded on it. There he goes. He realized he was hooked. Uh, get on up here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't break your rod tip there, dude. Oh, oh no. And he broke me off. 
Dang it. Oh, my line got wrapped around the end of my pole. Dang it. Guys, I think Dad's got one on. Hopefully it's a big old bull red. He's been wanting one so bad. Let's get up here and see what he's got. <laughs> they always pull straight back in a kayak. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I love it. Oh, there you go. I mean, uh oh. He's getting dragged backwards. <laughs> oh, I saw the tail. I see tail. Yep, you're close now. Real close. Holy crap, that's a big one. Oh. He's so close. Yep, there he is. There's no way I can lift him too hard. Yeah, I'm trying to get over to the other side for you. He's he's done. Just get a tail grab on him. Got him. You want to open that drag for him or open the bale in case he decides to run? Our poles are about to hit. Uh, all right. You want to set that in the rod, rod holder? Oh. Whew. Slowly. Yeah. Uh. All right. I don't want that hook from my pole to get you from, from behind. So let's scoot you back up this way. Oh my god. He's going in your lap. You ready? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of that bull red. <laughs> nice. I hope you get a picture of that. Oh yeah. Let me get turned back around. I'm gonna pull my phone out too and get a picture on my phone. Oh wow. <laughs> that thing is a beast. Look at the stomach on that thing. Holy crap. <laughs> Nice. Woo! You did it! <laughs> now, gotta get him back in the water. Just go ahead and put him in? Yeah, I'd slide him off you and kind of hold him by the tail if you can hold on to him, his tail. I mean, try to work him back and forth. Look at the size of that rib. And gone just like that. <sighs> How was that? That was tremendous. <laughs> All right, guys. On that note, we got a storm coming in. It is hot as can be out here. Yeah, you know, we've been out here about three and a half hours. I think we're gonna call it at least for now. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are on to day two of fishing during Labor Day weekend. Dad had such a blast out here yesterday with those massive bull reds that we decided to come back out here. So it is another super calm morning this morning. We got a north wind, which is keeping this beach calm. Got quite a few clouds off in the distance. Now all this rain is supposed to stay offshore. So we're going to get out here. The sun hasn't even really came up yet. We're going to get out here, see if we can find a topwater bite first. And uh, chase after these bull reds again. Maybe find a jack or two. Let's get on it.
Alright guys, so we started off the morning fishing around these docks, seeing if we can pick up a couple keeper fish. It was actually going pretty slow for us, we didn't have a whole lot of luck. But then out of nowhere, we look off in the distance and we see these massive, huge explosions happening about a half mile offshore. So I decide to book it. It's time to go after whatever these fish are that are running out there. So in the process, I end up tying on this pogey imitation and decided to troll that lure behind me as we're working our way towards this pod. And this is what happens. Oh, got him! Got him! Y'all, the jacks have moved in, just hooked up. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Time to go for another sleigh ride. Oh, they're blowing up again right in front of us. There's jacks everywhere. They're everywhere. Come here, buddy. Come on, come on, come here. Come here, woo, nope, nope, there he goes. Just when you think you get a leg up on them, they take another 50 yard of line. Come here. Come on, donkey. Come on, donkey. Woo. He ain't as big as the one a couple weeks ago, but he's still a good one. Enough to be turning me around, taking me for a ride. Come on, turn that head back around this way. Get up here. Oh. Come here. Come on. Mm -hmm. Thank you for slashing me. Now get your butt up here. Oh no. I had his head up, it didn't last. As soon as he got that head back down, he went for a run. Come on, get back up here. All right, wind down, crank up. Get that head up. Ugh. There we go, get that head up. Come on. He's circling again. him in the net all right let's go oh. Oh. <laughs> holy crap y'all got him now the fun part's gonna be trying to get him out of this net get the hook out there we go hooks out y'all hook is out now I'll see if I can get this thing picked up Yo, check that jack out! <laughs> All right, let's get this beast back in the water. I'm gonna slam him down, get him released, see if we can get Dad on one. Let's do it! Ah. And that's the bait I was throwing there. This is the Power Pro. It is actually called a Pogi Swim Shad. Weighted swim bait. I'm able to cast this thing a country mile. Helps me get to those jacks without having to get right up on them to be able to cast to them. He did free my line a little bit, so we're going to retie. Try to get Dad on one. He's right up there. Let's get some more. So after landing this jack, we decided to keep trying out for more. We had fish blowing up all around us, but we just could not hook up with another one. So this ended up being the end of the trip, having Dad come out so happy to get him on his first big bull red like that y'all do me a favor if you haven't already please hit that like button hit that subscribe if you're new to the channel and we will catch y'all on the next one